Oh, don't go in there. Why not? Rick's in there. So? I I'm looking for my bandana. So he's got a cold. Oh, no. He's crazy? You got it. He thinks everybody's against him? You got it. He's overcome with feeling sorry for himself? You got it. Oh, well, here I go. <laughs> What are you doing there, Rick? I'm suffering here, Alan. <laughs> I mean, what are you writing there? Obituaries. <sighs> why? It's what I do for a living! <laughs> I know, I mean, I mean, why here? Because I left the office early and I brought some work home. Well, the antelope play and the buffalo roam. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's rap. Man suffering. So, Rick, how come you're not working in your room? I wanted to be someplace where the wind chill factor was above 10. <laughs> um, so who are you writing about? Jeffrey Bamberger. Did he die of old age? No, Jeffrey Bamberger was my age. He had no previous medical problems. He was in his aerobics class. He leaned over to touch his toes, and he never came up. <laughs> he leaves a daughter, Tisha, 15. You know that every time that you sneeze, your heart stops. So? So I could be just a sneeze away from being Jeffrey Bamberger. And that would leave Kelly just a sneeze away from Tisha. Sorry, it was with the wash. Do you mind putting it back in? <laughs> D doesn't writing obituaries depress you? Death is my life. <laughs> That's hot. Death is my life, and life is my death. The kiss that I give you is made of breath. <laughs> 38 years old. Goes by fast, Kenny. You want to see something interesting? Here, my father used to do this with me. Here, look at my watch. Yeah. You should get yourself a digital. Follow the second hand. <laughs> Got it. You're now watching time go by. And with each tick of the second hand, you're watching yourself grow older by the second. Isn't that interesting? Frankly, I find it depressing. <laughs> Whoa, it's hot in here. Um, do you have anything against my going to the basketball game Saturday with Gordy Freskin? I'm fine, thanks. Louie, can you fix the water pump? Okay, let me see if I got this straight. Uh, only if your homework's done and you break them, we fix them. I wouldn't go in there. Why not? Rick has a cold. Oh. No, I hate it when he gets like that. He gets so, what do you call it? Insane. Like insane. Everybody's against you. Paranoid. Right. Well, this time he's worse than last time. How so? He used my bandana as a snot rag. Oh. Cover me. I'm going in. Thank God you're here. I need help with my nose drops. What's the matter? You can't find your nose? <laughs> Every time I put my head back and I squeeze this thing here, I, I can't tell how much I'm putting in. Hey, well, you're in a good living. Just top it off. I'll do it. Thank you. Four drops at each side, please. Are you really sick? Oh, he's fine. He's got a cold. You know, Rick, if he isn't sick, he doesn't feel good. I hope I'm not allergic to these drops. Well, if you're not allergic to the drops, you'll be allergic to something else. The uh, bottle, the label, the, uh, the bag that came in, the woman that sold it to you. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Make fun of a dying man. Do you know, Kenny, yesterday, Bamberger was smiling, eating a popsicle, feeling on top of the world. Rick, yeah. I love you, but you're a big baby. Oh, Dad. What? Don't get too close to him. <laughs> so, Daddy, babe, here's the thing. Where's the thing? Where? No, no, no. Ted, I'm in school today, and they asked for some volunteers for some committee. Yeah. I'm on some committee. Oh, that's great. And it's not because Doug Altavecchio's on the same committee. Or that he has the most sparkling blue eyes in the entire world. I used to have sparkling blue eyes. <laughs> now I'm afraid the spark is dwindling down to one last fading ember. Let's assume that's the nose drops talking. I can't wait. Tonight's the committee's first meeting. And yeah. it's not because Doug Altavecchio's going to be there. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm on the committee to restore the fountain in front of the school. I got original marble there, Kelly. That stuff's priceless. So, tonight we're supposed to ask our parents to... Oh, here it comes. How much do you want? No, no. I want time. Time I could afford when? Tonight. 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 I'll go. I'll get dressed. I'll go. Look at you. There's no way I'll let you go. Hey, I'm not going to let you down, Kelly, babe. Sick or not, I'm going. Hey, I'll take the little lady. You'll do. Oh. Well, he won't embarrass you too much. And now, um, what about the pump? It's for the fountain. You just happen to have it with you? Yeah, well, when I volunteered myself, I kind of volunteered you too. Uh, Mr. Blythe dropped it off in the driveway. Well, I'll take a look with no guarantees. Oh, is this the deceased? <laughs> By the looks of it, maybe we ought to just give it a decent burial. Yeah, along with me. Oh, right. Let's see. Here's the elbow. This is the neck joint. <laughs> this must be the spleen. <laughs> this is the Stinson Healy. Whoa, don't get on it without a helmet. This thing's a classic. You figure what? You could take apart an aircraft carrier and put it back together again in what, two, three minutes? Yeah, if I took a couple of coffee breaks. <laughs> Check it out. We were driving through Kentucky. The bluegrass made me blue. The bright sun made me yellow, which is why I didn't try to kiss you. What is this about? It's an uplifting country song. <laughs> I'm gonna make a fortune in country western. Yes, well, you have to have a gimmick, Kenny. You know, a hook. Something different. Well, how about a short 12-year-old with braces singing country? That's my gimmick. Well, uh, ask Rick to help you with this song. He's the writer around here. <laughs> It's time for my antihistamine. <laughs> Kenny, would you mind getting it for me? <laughs> I'm getting worse. I wish you could teach my dad some of this stuff. No, thanks. I'm unhappy just the way I am. <laughs> oh, see here? Water probably leaked into the housing and eroded some of the insulation. I'll bet the armature coil is shorted out. Oh. You took the words right out of my mouth. Well, do we need to get a whole new motor? Not if I can replace the wiring. Not if I replace the wiring. I ask you, Dad, is this guy a wizard or what? Well, so far, he's a what? <laughs> got some 12 gauge I can splice in and probably bring this thing right back to life. Louis, you are amazing. Open heart surgery, it's not. To the fountain, it is. <laughs> Stuff. Oh, anybody can be mechanical. Not Dad. Hey, I'm a writer. I'm a creator. Without people like me, he wouldn't have anything to fix. Oh, Dad. No, think about it. A, a creator starts with nothing, nothing but an empty mind. You said that. I didn't. <laughs> Creative people invent, like the person who invented this water pump. You know, most of the world use their hands, but some of us use our heads. You take something as ordinary as an obituary here. Why not use a little imagination? Bamberger's family has this wish, no service or memorial. What they want is very hot. It's strictly crematorial. <laughs> Did you just make that up in your head? Despite the congestion, yes. <laughs> oh, thank God you're here. I'm dying here.
Dad thinks childproof. <laughs> Kelly, I just saved your committee $500,000 on this section alone. This guy is unreal. No, no. Some guys just use their hands. But ah, to think, to think of things that cannot be, to see what mortals can see never. No, only that to think is to see forever. Where did that come from? My hands. <laughs> you made it up? Yup. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad? <laughs> when I was in college, I ran the iambic pentathlon. <laughs> and when I was in high school, I used to write all of Louis's love letters for him. Yeah, name one. Jennifer Marzaniak. Ask her how she liked my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm missing a good party. Dad, what are you doing out here? It's cold. Ah, uh, when you're sick as I am, makes no difference where you are, honey. Dad, can you believe this? He's almost finished. Ah, uh, yes, but can he name the seven dwarfs? <laughs> where can I plug this thing in? Uh. Did you strain something? No, honey, I'm just trying to keep my chest warm. <laughs> you know, next time I think she's going to be able to put this thing together herself, <laughs> yeah, she's one smart cookie. <laughs> yeah, stick with me, and pretty soon you'll be able to retile the roof. <laughs> well, come on, Kelly Babes, it's cleanup time. You called me Kelly Babes? Yeah, what? Just now, did you hear him, Dad? He called me Kelly Babes. Yeah. I guess it makes it official. You're one of our family. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dad, two minor requests. Uh, one, can I borrow your truck tonight? <laughs> What's the other one? Uh, Nathan Waylock's parents need help cleaning out their attic tonight, and they're paying three bucks an hour, so can I go over there? You finish your homework? Dad, that's a question you ask Alan, not me. Where is Alan? The library. Hey, you want some help with your songs? You hang around your old Uncle Rick here. I'll uh, give you a few pointers, you know? Writer to writer. <laughs> yeah, well, old Uncle Rick, I really appreciate it, really, but I got a firm offer at three bucks. I got to take it. <laughs> you know, this thing isn't getting hot. Oh, yeah, you know, it's a famous heating pad. Lori Penman's dog gave birth to a squadron of beagles on it. <laughs> Maybe my dad can fix it. Have fun and don't be late. I will and I won't. Well, all I have to do now is separate these pipes and we're out of here. Well, can I help? Um, I don't know. These things are really jammed in here, eh? do it if I had the right tools. The right tools. <laughs> right. Woo! Woo! Very nice. Very nice. So, Kelly, should we pack up and go bring that fountain back to life? Ah. See you later, Rick. Louis, you're the greatest there ever was. <laughs> I gotta go. No better, Dad. <laughs> Goodbye, Kelly Babes. <laughs> How much did you make? Six fifty. It's gonna take me forever to save any real money. How do people do it? Well, people aren't you. Now, what does that mean? Kenny, people 12 years old have other things on their minds besides Money. Yeah, like what? Sex. Then we know different people. <laughs> Kenny, look around. You got a nice house, right? Nice clothes, a nice bike. What do you want that you don't have? Money. <laughs> but why? What happens if something happens to Dad? What happens if he gets sick? What happens if he dies like that guy Bamberger? Who's gonna give us money then, huh? What then?
Margaret. My head is stuffed, my throat is sore, my bones ache, and I just scorched my nose. <laughs> also, I'm dying. Nice chatting with you. Also, I'm angry! <laughs> Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel miserable. <laughs> I hate being around sick people. <laughs> Only sick people talk to themselves. <laughs> Sleep. He was slipping into a coma. Why aren't you in bed? Why aren't you? You're mad. He's mad. Why are you mad? Do you realize the girl has school tomorrow? The girl? Oh, hey, a bunch of kids wanted a bunch of ice cream, and I was the guy with the truck, so a bunch of us just piled into the street. Mr. Right? Popular. <laughs> Kelly, it's bedtime. Guess what? Next week, he's teaching us to grout. Louis, what does grout mean again? You take a little bit of mortar on it. Good night, Kelly. Okay, okay. Good night, Dad. Stick it in between the joints. <gasps> Please, feel better. Thank you, Kel. Did you fix the fountain? <laughs> like new, thank you. Did you feel better? I have a slight fever, thank you. 112. <laughs> Is everybody impressed? Oh, I don't know about that. But they are going to name the fountain after me. <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, it was terrific how they all put me up on their shoulders, oh, yes, that's carried me around to school. <laughs> don't you think? Don't think I this don't know what you're trying to do. With all this Kelly I might have been stuff. the you're best You're trying to make me there. feel jealous. Jealous? Seriously? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You're trying to steal Kelly away from me when I'm dying here. <laughs> You're delirious. I'm serious. The end of your nose is extremely red. I accidentally charred it. A man with a charred nose is telling me he's serious. Life is a ticking clock, Louis. You're born, they wind you up, and you spend the rest of your life winding down. What have I done with my life? What quality time have I spent with my daughter? Our kids aren't kids anymore, Louis. Look at tonight. Everybody's off. Everybody's off. Doing their own thing. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Armstrong, but your time is up. And you failed to be a very good father to your daughter, but we're not sending you away empty-handed. Please accept the free home version of the Be A Father game and a year's supply of Carmax. <laughs> Thank you. You've been a lousy contestant. And may you rest in peace. You know, this doesn't have anything to do with jealousy. Oh, yeah, well, what does it have to do with? It has to do with when you get sick, you get scared. It has to do with when you get scared, you get crazy. Are you calling me crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. It's 100 degrees in here. You've got a hat on. You, you, you've got uh, antihistamines. You've got nose drops. You've got aspirin. You've got a broken heating pad. <laughs> You got a temperature of 98.8. <laughs> you got a charred nose and I'm trying to steal your daughter away from you. Am I calling you crazy? You might say that. But you want to know what? What? I understand. We all understand. When, when you get sick, this famous head of yours kicks into overdrive and you get nuts. We all understand it. And we all hate it very much. <laughs> But that's who you are, and that's why we all love you very much. So come on. Drink this and try not to think. <laughs> what is it? From the guy who's trying to steal your daughter away from you, what else? Poison. <laughs> 
needs more cyanide. <laughs> Listen, for, for what it's worth, I'll tell you the way I see this whole clock business. We're all Timexes. We take a licking and keep on ticking. <laughs> oh, maybe you're right. I do get a little crazy, huh? It's not true you're trying to steal Kelly away from me. Of course not. Kelly's tried to steal you away from well, me. for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Good night, Kel. Dad? Yeah? Would you tell me a bedtime story? <laughs> a bedtime story? Yeah, make one up like you used to. Uh, Kel, you're not a baby anymore. You're not even a child. You're growing up fast. How do you turn this damn thing off? <laughs> I know. Please. Come on. Get out of the blankies. <sighs> Once there was a tiny little boolaboo who lived at the bottom of the sea. What's a boolaboo? I don't know yet. <laughs> but one day, I think it was a Tuesday, it caught a terrible cold. A boolaboo, he blows himself up 50 times his size by going boola, boola, boola.